Hello everybody, welcome back to another tutorial in scripting in Roblox for beginners. So today, um, I'm going to explain how to create a part out of nothing. Um, so we're creating a part out of thin air. So what we do is we say, um, yeah, let's just jump right into it. I feel like I'm kind of rushing into it for some reason. Uh, but anyway, instance.new, this is what you do. You put instance.new. And then the parentheses, make sure to capitalize this I. Um, I'm pretty sure it needs to be capitalized. Anyway, you put the quotation, you put quotation marks, and then you put the name of the object that you want to create a new instance of. And um, let me explain. So all these parts here that we see in the workspace, these are all instances of the part object. So an instance is just a different, uh, you know, it's a copy of a part not a part, an object, so uh, it's sort of what it is. Um, so if we say, uh, since since these are called parts, if we look here in, um, in the Explorer window and in the properties thing, if we, we find the class name, as, as you can see we have a part selected and the class name is part, obviously. And make sure the P is capitalized when you put it in the script, you say part because that's the name of the object that we want to create an instance of. And then we put a comma, and this is optional, um, and we can do this like later, but let's just do this for simplicity. We put a comma, and then we put the um, the parent of the instance that we want. So we're going to set this new instance's parent to game.workspace, because that's where we usually put parts. And you can set this to anything else if you want to, um, depending on your own purposes. Uh, maybe you want to create a new instance, a new part, because you want to create a bullet for your gun. Uh, that's one way you could use this feature. So this will create a part um, in, and put it in game.workspace, and if we run the game with this arrow right here, as you can see, it did create the part, but it falls down into the void. So, um, what we're going to do is we basically we need to set the the new parts anchored to true so we're gonna make it anchored and if you see if we click on a random part uh, and then we scroll down here it has an anchored value or an anchored property I should say and it can be either checked or unchecked which means that means it's a boolean value and boolean values are either true or false when it's checked that means it's true and vice versa so this part I've created it so that it's anchored and um, but by default new parts they will be unanchored so we need to anchor it um, well how do we anchor it we we can't do uh, like instance dot anchored um, equals true because um, this could be setting a new instance. Um, it has just—it just has no idea what you're talking about. So we need to set a variable. We need to set a variable to this instance, and so we're going to say new part equals instance dot new, and simple as that. Just say set something equal to it, and even though we're just um, calling it equal to this, it will still create the part and put it in the workspace. So now that we have the new the part and we're we've called it new part we can do pretty much anything we want with it. We can say new part dot brick color equals blah. And then I'll get into later, like um, to set a new brick color, you say brick color, and this is pretty much the only way. I think you can also do color three. Um, three dot new, like one, 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 not sure. Let's try that out just for fun to see if it works. And it might break the script and we'll see if it does or not, but yeah. And then we, Let's get back to what we were originally going to do. New part dot anchored equals true. So then it will no longer fall into the void. And um, we can also set the part's name. New part dot name equals, let's call it Bob. Um, anyway, so, and then we can, uh, yeah, I just had to check something. Um, because if I put, if I use the numpad, I have hotkeys set for, if I press 1 on the numpad, it will stop recording, and so I, I didn't know if it stopped recording or not, 
because uh, I didn't realize if I if I used a numpad for this. Anyway, hopefully I didn't, and hopefully this is working. If you are watching this, then it worked, and it's all okay. Anyway, hopefully uh, that probably didn't make sense, but anyway, that doesn't matter. Let's run the game, and then oh yeah, see uh, if we look in this output workspace dot tutorial line two bad argument number three to brick color so it's expecting a brick color not a color three value so if we reset the game <clears throat> and then we so let's go ahead and fix it so color three so we need to replace this with brick color dot new and then in quotation marks let's do bright red because that's one of the colors um, I'll explain, I'll probably explain this more in a different episode, but all you need to know that now is that this sets the brick color to a new color. And so now let's try it again. Um, run it. And then if we look under here, here we go. So we have our new red bob brick, which is anchored. And it's awesome. <laughs> so what we're going to do is... Um, yeah, uh, hopefully that all made sense. Um, let me think if I have anything else to share. So yeah, let me just maybe go over this one more time. We're setting a new part to a new instance, and so instance.new, and then make sure to have those parentheses, and then in quotations, uh, the name of the object, and in this case we're using a part and then you put a comma separating the two arguments and on the right you put game.workspace or whatever else you want to set it to. Maybe you want to put it in a different um, model. Maybe you want to put it in a specific model. Then down here we're just setting the, the properties of the new part and yeah. Um, I hope this was helpful. Uh, leave a like if you like. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't and thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.